Hi, I'm Molly, and I'm going to show you how to make your own rag rug. Whether you're using old t-shirts or bed sheets, it's just a few simple techniques. I'll show you how to get started and a little troubleshooting for along the way. Okay, so here is a piece of t-shirt, and I've already cut it, but I'll show you how I did it. The trick is you want one long continuous strip, so if you cut through one side and then not the other in a zigzag, you can get a really long piece of t-shirt that you can then ball up like you would a uh, yarn. So once you have that, you're going to use your one inch strips. I usually make everything one inch, it's just easier. And your needle. The fatter the needle, the bigger the loops. So with that, I'll show you uh, how you get started. If you're familiar with crochet, then all of this will look very familiar because it's exactly the same thing. You're just crocheting instead of with yarn, with material. This needle is 11.5 millimeters, um, but you know they come in all kinds of sizes. The bigger the needle, the bigger the loops, the quicker the project will move and the thicker the rug will be. Same with the thicker the material. Okay, so here's how you get started. Just make a, a slip knot, which I usually do, just twist and pull that material through. So, you have a little knot. So here's your basic technique on how to make a chain. You go around behind the material, pull it through the loop around and then just pull it through. Now every time you go around and you pull it through you want to push the loop onto the fatter part of the hook. And See how the the hook has this slope so it'll come off and then the rest of it's the same size and that is what makes uh, the consistency in the rug. So we've done three four, five. So we chained five, makes a little chain, looks like this. Okay? So I'll show you again. Okay, I'm going to show you a little closer up. You want to make a loop for your slip stitch, like so. Put your needle in the loop, pull it a little bit just to get it tight on the bar. Okay, then we're going to chain five. So you go around, pull it through, around, pull it through. This is called a chain stitch. So one, two, three, four, we'll do one more. Okay, so we're going to chain five, this is what it looks like, and then from this first loop, here, I'll show you, okay. So we have this, we're going to stick our finger through this first loop here, and that's where we want to put our needle in. So we're just going to push it through that hole. So we've got the two on there like this. And then we're going to loop around the material. See, very simple. Just go around and pull it through that loop and through the second loop. And then always give your tail a little tug. It makes a little circle. Here, I'll do it again. And this is the best thing about rag rigging is anything you mess up you can just undo by pulling. Okay, so we've we've made our little chain. Okay, so we've we've made our chain. 
We're going to stick our finger through this end that was the, the beginning. Put the needle through. And go behind and pull it through both loops. And give it a little tug. And that is what makes, this is the center of your rug. Here's the little center that is the middle of your rug. If you look at it, you can see these bumps for each of these little, where each of the chains were, and that's where you're going to go in to make the rug bigger. You just keep going in a circle. So you look at it and find the first loop, push your needle through that loop, go behind, and pull it through. Oops. Go behind and pull it through both loops. Then you find your next loop. And it's the most obvious loop on the top. It goes to the outside. It's very obvious. So push your needle through. Go behind the material. Pull it through both loops. Then go to find your next loop, which is that one. Put your needle through, go behind, pull it through both loops. So we're going, okay. So you can see it's getting a little bigger, it's starting to make a circle. Go through, pull it through, and we're going to do one more. Okay, so now a little knot. And if we just keep going like this, it's not going to get bigger. It's just going to start building up. It's going to be too tight, and it's going to start to curve. So what we need to do is when you find that loop, we're going to put two stitches into each loop. We're going to do the exact same thing, but two times into each loop. Two into this one, two into this one, two into this one. And what that will do is increase the number, the number of loops to work off of in the next circle to make your circle bigger. So I'm just going to work around that real quick. So there's one, and you can tell which one you're supposed to go into because it's very obvious where your material is. So I'm going to put two to the next loop. There's one. Next loop. Whoops. Back in there. Okay, there's my loop. Pull it through. There's one in that list, so I'm going to do the second one. Where'd it go? See, and it's starting to take shape. Find the next loop. We're going to put two in that one. There's one. The second one in. Find the next loop. Second one in. Put 
And the next one. And let's do one more. And there's the second one. Okay, so you can see this is the center here, and you can tell the difference in putting in two, how, how it makes it build out quicker and starts to flatten out. And I think we're just going to do one more right here. And the second one. Okay, so here's our circle. Now moving forward, we want to know every time we make any changes, and we want to know when we've made a whole circle. So I'm going to take this little piece of yarn. You could use a safety pen or anything just to, to mark a, a spot. So I'm just going to cram it through this so I can see it. And I'll know when I get back around to this spot that I've gone a full circle. And any changes you make whether adding stitches or taking away stitches, you want to make a whole circle of it. That way the rug is consistent and you don't get like lettuce leaf edges that are all ruffly. So. Okay, now I see it's, it's barely, see how it kind of has a bowl to it. If you play with it, you feel like it wants to make a bowl. If it feels tight like that, you want to keep going and adding the double stitches because it'll make it bigger. So I'm going to add a round to that and then I'll get back and show you the difference. See, you, you can just tell it, it wants to, if I kept going like I'm going, it would just make a bowl. Okay, so here it is. I've gone around another round, putting two into each loop. And you can see it got a lot bigger but I still kind of feel like I'm making a bowl. If you feel like your rug looks like a bowl, if you see that, then just keep putting two in each loop until it flattens out. So once you get to this stage, you can kind of see the loops are pretty obvious. Just go with the most obvious loop. It's going to be on the top. It's going to be on the outside. And just keep going around in a circle. So these are the basic things to, to making your rug. Uh, this one's still the double, I'm doing the two in each loop. But once you get where your rug is really flat, put, you know, remember where you're starting a new stitch or a new type of stitch. So once you feel like it's flat, do, do a single, you know, just go through one time, pull it through both, through each loop, one time, pull it through, one time, pull it through. And that will kind of tighten it up and add to it. And do that until you feel like it's starting to bowl a little. And then do two stitches. And you'll start to get a feel for it very quickly. And you can even, if, if you're comfortable with it, you can put two in one and then one in the next. And then two and then one to add maybe not quite as much. But just work with it. Don't, don't be afraid of it. Just You can pull on it, stretch it. If you mess up something just take out your needle and pull pull on your your t-shirt and it'll just come undone just as easily so anything you mess up you can redo and they're very forgiving even if you skip stitches no one will know so there it is